let's be real, we all want to improve our lives. When we see our friends living a better life than we have, we wonder to ourselves why are we still not yet closer to our goals and why are we still far away from living the life that we envisioned. After a long day of work, we all no longer have time and energy left to work on our own goals, to work on a better future. So we spend the remaining time of our day to chill, watch Netflix in bed, watch some funny cat videos on YouTube, working on a side hustle to make ends meet, we put our goals aside, thinking that one day we will finally start working on it. And guess what? Days gone by and we still haven't achieved our goals yet. I get it, life happens. Sometimes we are being put in a tough spot that we all don't want to be in. For example, a pandemic. Taking care of our families, making ends meet, battling a chronic illness, or other challenging situations that one cannot imagine. And if you're one of those people in a situation like this, please stay strong. This is what makes you stronger, so don't give up. I'd like to share a story with you. It's about this girl who she's being sick and tired of falling behind in life. So while everyone else is chilling, watching Netflix or hanging out with friends, she spent all her time working on herself. She focused on learning something new every single day without fail. And this then went on for 8 years. But the more she kept at it, she learned from her failures and continued working on improving herself. She eventually got better at the things that she do and got closer and closer to her goals. And guess what? This girl is me. If there's one thing I learned from my past experiences, it is to be patient, to not be afraid to fail, and to believe in the process. The reason why I'm making this video today is to share with you how you can take baby steps to get closer to your goals just like how I did. We cannot control how our life turns out to be, but there is one thing that we can do right now, which is to be 1% better every single day. Now, I did not invent this idea, James Clear did. In his book Atomic Habits, James Clear has mentioned that if you focus on making small incremental improvements every single day, those small improvements can add up to become something significant. So if you improve yourself by 1% every single day for 365 days, you become 37 times better than day 1. But in contrary, if you get worse by 1% every single day for 365 days, you will end up this worse. So that leads us to the power of compounding improvements over time. Improving your habits by 1% every day could bring you closer to your goals and possibly change your life. So how can we be 1% better every day? One of the strategy is to replace the habits that don't contribute to your goals to something that does. Instead of watching Netflix 4 hours a day, maybe cut it down to 2 hours and spend the rest of the time working on something that brings you closer to your goals. You can also make good use of your lunch break. When you take a dump, which sometimes could take quite long, during your commute, or simply waking up earlier than usual. Reducing time spent on social media will also give you extra time which you could otherwise spend on doing things that bring you closer to your goals. So focus on the hours of the day that you can control, even if it's just 30 minutes a day. A simple change can make a huge difference. Watching tutorials, taking courses, reading way too many books, and consuming content is a form of procrastination if you don't take action. Maybe you want to become a designer. What could you do today that brings you closer to your goals? Instead of watching countless tutorials, perhaps it is time to start finally working on that portfolio where you've been procrastinating and putting off. The average person does not take action. If you take action, it has already given you a massive advantage over everyone else. It will not bring you closer to your goals unless you apply those learnings and take action. So yeah, break your goals into small actionable chunks so that you don't overwhelm yourself. If you want to learn UI UX design, you can either stress yourself out with all the skills that you need to learn or you can focus on one small thing. Maybe the goal is every day spend 30 minutes learning something UI UX design related. And once you learn them, remember to apply them and take action. It's normal to face challenges when you get out of the comfort zone. Feeling uncomfortable is a sign that you're growing. And if you run into a problem that you don't know how to solve, Google your problems. You can ask your friends if you need help, but everyone is busy with their life. So instead of waiting for someone to hand you the fish, learn how to fish yourself. Don't ask a question until you have googled your problems. 
What I've shared with you today isn't something new. I did not invent any of these concepts. But I hope after you've watched this video, you could think of ways to improve your habits and that gets you closer to your goals and possibly improve your life. So before you go, I would like to leave you with one question. What is that one action that you could take today to become 1% better every day? I believe that when you become 1% better every day, things will fall into place, believe in the process. That's how great people achieve great things. Thank you for watching my videos. It makes me really happy to know that my videos have helped someone in the world. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!